Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your DocuSign account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you add a signature field into your document in DocuSign? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, a real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to add a signature field in DocuSign anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that sometimes you have to send out contracts to be signed from your clients. And in order to do that, you have to add a signature field for your client to sign. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your DocuSign account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my DocuSign account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to add a signature field into one of your documents, first you have to upload the document. So you're going to start right here and click on start. Okay, next you're going to go ahead and upload the document right here. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a document now. Okay, it's uploading. Okay, perfect. Now the document is uploaded. You want to go ahead and add your recipients. So we're going to open that box up and then click right in here and add a new signer. Okay, I went ahead and added a new recipient. Make sure that this is set up as needs to sign, not just receive a copy. Okay, so let me scroll down a little bit more. Okay, here you can go ahead and add a message about this particular document if you wish to do so and then click on next. Okay, guys, so now we are ready to go ahead and add a signature field in our document. So first what you want to do is scroll through the document and then see where you want to add the signature field. Okay, so this is a passport application document. So basically what we're going to do is go all the way to the bottom and then usually the signature line is going to be right here. Let's say it's right here. And all you're going to do is first on the top left, you want to be sure to click on this arrow. All right. And then check to see who the signer is. So if you have more than one person who's going to be signing the document, make sure you choose their name. I only have one, so I'm going to click here. And then what you're going to do to add a signature field is look for this line right here. Signature looks like a little pen. And then you're just going to grab it and then just drag it right over the line. So for example, here's a line right here. And then I usually drop the thick black line right over the thin line. And now the signature field is there. Now the signature by default is going to be pretty large. So if it's going to intrude on another part of the document, usually what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just shrink it down a little bit by grabbing on here and make sure it kind of fits in there. Now, if you have more than one signer in DocuSign that you need the signature field, you need to click back here on this little arrow and then choose the next signer. And once you've chosen the next signer, you want to do the same thing. Grab the signature field and just drag it right on over. And the cool thing about DocuSign is you can see it automatically sized it to the same that this was right here. All right, so now that you've added in the signature fields, you can go ahead and click on send right here on the bottom right. Now, as far as the signature field goes, if that client already has a DocuSign account or they've already signed a DocuSign, their signature is already going to be set up. If not, don't worry about that because they'll just click on the document to sign. If there's no signature on file, DocuSign will prompt them to go ahead and create a signature to sign with. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to add a signature field to your DocuSign document, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.